And there is Necklyph. Yeah, and you can't go around the the south of that area. So where is Necklyph expanding to now? Oh, really? I could have sworn you would go for down here. Way safer than going here. Because this is territory that Eberthil has clearly already kind of claimed. And Eberthil is just going to declare on you again and steal your colonies again. That's a strange choice. Meanwhile, Frozen Moor is absolutely gobbling up Goward at the moment. E poetry, cathartic, Spartan gaming. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Did Necklyph move out of the mainland? Um, not willingly, shall we say? They were backstabbed by the Nolish Emperor. Vern crushed them. And that is a player, so... I am sure the players around will be remembering this. In fact, Vern is under attack right now. Nash Bay, Magdalena, and Belacare. This is a Vernon conquest of Na Napes Bay. This is a very, very aggressive emperor. Who is still the emperor. Has actually completed two reforms. Has there been any reformation yet? So the Gnomish hierarchy is the thought still. Oh, we have elven forebears over here. Who's this? Ibavar. Not a player. Just didn't realise they were a different religion. What's the name of the ideas mod they're using? Ah, uh, it's something weird. Like mod bra or something like that. Uh, I can look it up. Which is too bad. If they named it a decent name, <laughs> um, rather than just some meme crap, then... This mod could probably actually become quite popular, because they put a lot of work into it. Get it actually verified as a um, sub-mod for Ambernar. Like, I'd push for that. Why is that not going? Workshop. Not community. Workshop. Ideas go bruh. Click on it, I'll link to it. There. That one. Bunker ideas. Is this copied from someone else? Oh, it is. Okay, so it's a series of multiplayer balance mods, which they have adapted for Ambernar. Right, fair enough. Meanwhile, Adanica being occupied by Nusha. So Smallfellows formed Nusha, which Adanica is now going to beat up. Adenica, looming disaster, internal conflicts. Tisk, 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 minus one stability. Now, at the moment, the small fellows are kind of kicking the living daylights out of them casualty wise. 
4.5 morale versus 4. Fully cavalry army almost. And yeah, Nusha wins. Heck yeah, Nusha. Adanica's having problems here. Oh, play a war. Karuvia versus Elisna. It's a direct war. Huzzah! Why? Oh, it's Keterata versus Elisna. It's the Elisna and conquest of something in Keterata, which Karuvia is allied to. Meanwhile, they're being attacked by Arion, Company of the Thorn. Arion and the Company of the Thorn. And they're currently just parked on the capital and sieging it. Where are your armies? Oh, there they are. There's one strand of hair that just keeps on wandering into my eye. Stop it! Alright, we're good. Um, yes, institutions. That was something else I was going to double check. So the institution, in fact, spawned <laughs> in Vanille. Of course it did. I feel sorry for Eberthil not getting that one. They deserve that. Well, Eberthil is getting it very, very quickly, so I don't think they're going to be that bothered. They've already got 50-odd percent in most places, and they seem to be the only one that's really gaining it so far. I guess Vern is too. But those are the colonizers. Tilt Rumpet, thank you very much for the eight month resubscription. Very much appreciate that. Thank you. Have the gnomes colonized at all? No. Not yet. Do they have the ideas for it? They've just got explorations. So they've just started to look. They're actually quite far behind in their idea selections. Why would that be? I mean, lack of admin ideas because of the amount of conquest they have to do early on. I can kind of get that. Ooh, Lawrence attacked Goward as well. Man, I thought Goward was actually doing okay. And and now look at them. <laughs> I thought for a while there, Lauren was definitely going to be the one that gets annihilated first, but now it's kind of looking bad for, for Goward. Oh, we're paused. And we're unpaused. So how are the... Phoenix Empire is now first. Then the command, then... Denjiraj. Elisna, Arakprun, Ebethil, Sinvar, Malknar. That's not a player, is it? Where are you? That's not who I wanted. If I do this to deselect everyone, then I click on you, and I click on you. Get sent down here. So who is that? To you? Dengeraj. Oh wait, is this... Are these basically daimyos? Oh, they are! Synapti of Dengeraj. So who the heck is Dengeraj? That would explain why they're so big. Dengeraj, there they are. So you're basically the Shogun right now. I get it. That's why they can provide such a unified front against the command. I see. I see. Because there are several nations here which are definitely bigger than Dengeraj. And they could probably fight for the, the Shogun position. Hey, dog meat. Are the gnomes a technocracy? Yes, both Jabert and uh, Gnomish Hierarchy are technocracies at this point. And Jazith want me to drink some tea, so here we go. Ah. 
Oh, they've actually traced the uh, the trade routes to go along the rivers. Oh, that's a nice attention to detail right there. Oh, I like that. Gets a bit messier over here, but along this, just going along the river. Oh, I like that a lot. That, that's a nice touch. That's a really good touch. Because pretty much everywhere else, the... Wait, is that a trade route? Is that something else? No, that was a trade route. I didn't know you could actually angle it like that. Like, everywhere else is just like, yeah, we're just going to flow in the most direct manner. Except, no, along here it's going along the river. I've just never noticed that before. Yeah, it is. And here they have it going through the neck. Which does make sense. Like these lanes, no rivers involved. Could be going along this. I'm guessing this is an older setup to these and especially these. That's a really nice touch. I like that it's going along the actual rivers. And again, here, it's going along the rivers. That's cool. I like that. Sometimes just the, the little details in this mod are just like, whoa, you actually did that? That's cool. So Magarma did not apparently beat up Winged Blade. I am surprised that Winged Blade is still here and still apparently triumphant. And currently fighting against Black Charge, Silent Quake and White Shadow. Black Charge, whoa, being pretty big. This is a Magarma conquest of Chocolate, which is this. Lots of people running with poor stability. I've noticed that. Finances going down. Still got a pretty hefty military, though. How are the rail skulkers doing? Still sitting there with damaged holds, infested hold. Oh, they finished digging the Hall of the Ancestors. And also Amalhras. So they just need to do Amaldir and Verkul Vakron. Vaskron. Two to go. So Rail Skulkers should be getting really, really strong because they effectively control four functional holds and two extra ones. Yeah, they can get up to 43,000 manpower now. And they're spending quite heavily on rooting out corruption. Oh, I see, yeah. Uh, this is Blackhawk. Ah, not so... I see. Black Orc, Black Orc, Black Orc. So they have moved the Cave Goblins into Verkul Vaskron. They've just not done it for these yet. Which is why this hold is available, it's just not usable. If that makes sense. Losing a huge amount of production efficiency and tax modifier. And how much would it cost to... They would need to convert it first, which they are not doing. No, they're not converting anything. Sorry, I got a very itchy foot. <laughs> it's been bugging me. All right, I think I got it. Just joined the stream. How many human players are there? There are 26 human players at the moment. So if I zoom out a little bit, everything coloured in is human. So quite a few, quite a bit going on.
So how's our buddy Necklift doing? So Lith Pass is almost finished. Where are you going to go after that, I wonder? We need to keep an eye. Looks like they've added a lot more to this mod too. Yeah, this mod's been like in very active development. When I first heard about Ambanar, which was after the European of Solace 4 dev clash, it looks very basic and I wasn't that interested. I was like, okay, cool, it's a fancy mod, but it mostly just looks like map changes. But now they've done so much more to it, like um, the different nations or the different races play very differently. Opened up the map massively, added a whole bunch of uh, special mechanics and things for the mod. Like, they've done such a great job with this, it's really quite impressive. Very, very cool indeed. Lots of mission trees and stuff like that too, yes. Absolutely. So some of the other nations around here are spawning, while the Ebethil Leech Dens continues to grow. Oh. Arakprun's taken a few more territories. Malaknar has gotten out to the coast now, in two different areas. That is already a world port, wow. I'm a little surprised they put a world port up here. I would have thought they'd be trying to get their trade going down there because a lot more stuff feeds into it. Yeah, I would have thought they'd try to get down to here at least. And they're not that far away from it. See, they're conquering it already. Is it? So, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Around here somewhere, I don't know exactly which province, but they're in the Isles. Probably trying to get through to here, but then they're going to be up against these guys. Maybe trying to get around to this side? I still think they would have been safest going for this. And colonize this island, colonize this island. Then I think we could have seen a restored Necliff going through here, which is going to be very, very high competition against both uh, Vern and also... Um, Ebithil? I think that's a mistake. Kind of asking for trouble. Good news, Mionsung secured a village for the Maudlings. Oh, nice. Well done. Apparently Sir Oakley's having some problems. Who's Oakley? Elizna. Tisk, tisk, tisk. So, gnomes, have you managed to do any experiments? Exploration yet? No. And unfortunately, one of the, uh, the the jump off points has just been taken by Duran, so Duran seems to be taking those first. And Riveria took Elder Green back. You just lost a war against them. Nope. Ah, we can see what Goward lost. In the war. Two prov- Really? Three provinces? That's all they took? Huh. Oh no, Laurent took a whole bunch down here. Yeah, Laurent took one, two, three, four as well. Which small country is now immediately going after. And there we go, BPAC has formed small country. So that is one thing that we were saying is probably going to happen. Well, it did. So we have a gnomish hierarchy, we have a small country. And how did Adenica do? Still fighting wars. 
Oh, against Arboran. That's another player war. Are they actually fighting? They are actually fighting. Oh no, that's their ally. Your armies are just sitting up here, not getting involved. Basically letting uh, Arboran go after Unbanland. And not getting involved, helping your allies out. So that's what, 18,000 against much, much more. So Arboran is probably pretty freaking terrifying. Is more country still an elector? I believe so, yeah. I don't know why they wouldn't be. Yep. Not voting for Vern. Voting for Arboran. In fact, at the moment, where's Dam's going to win? Nobody is voting for Vern at all. I don't really blame them. Backstabbing knowledge Vern. Tisk tisk tisk. Gonrick, meanwhile, still just expanding out. Nagama finished the war against Black Charge, and I think just released some nations. I don't think they took anything for themselves. Well, I don't think they could. Meanwhile, Krakdumvor has made it out into the the open. And Frozen Moor has promptly blocked off Oslam as deer. Hebethil, who are you fighting? Mix. What's that? Oh, way out here. You're just doing some colonial wars. Trying to get into the Isles. No, Mix attacked you. Mix conquest of Eats Verton. And yeah, <laughs> they've taken it. Then Holy Victor is slowly but surely pushing out. In fact, they look like they're just taking out Shrenrol at the moment. Kind of lucky the command hasn't been a bit more aggressive. Doesn't look like they're doing a huge amount at the moment. Then we've got Oscar and Marhold. Currently fighting against Bladebreakers. Bladebreakers. And Thieving Arrow, so that technically would also be a play of war. Player's not here at the moment. Heart grinder, blade breakers, and thieving arrows, which they just beast out. Rarely and Bjornrik is still fighting against the northern nations over here, trying to take more of the coast. Phoenix Empire is just doing what Phoenix Empire does. Phoenix Empire versus Jad right now. This is a much smaller Jadari than we have seen in the past, though. Never really got going. Ruben Air fighting against Madelaire. Wow, that's a big great ordning. Nice. Yeah, Madelaire, I don't think are going to be able to do very much against this. And then Vajarif over here in the Lake Federation have managed to expand a bit. Becoming more of a rising power within the Lake Federation, which is currently itself being attacked by Magarma. Although not. I notice Vajarev. Magama War for Linka Tribute. So going for the money. Yeah, the Blue Flames have been there for a while. It's, it's a non-war. I don't think these two are actually fighting. Oh no, they are. No, they're not. That would still be Adenica. Adenica's armies are staying safely back there. It's a fake war. It's not really happening. And it looks like this whole region has already been colonized. That was a very quick colonization. Well, again, got to remember this is the second session. They've, they've already been going for one. So it now looks like all of the colonizable territory in this region has now been colonized. So after this, it is just a scramble for position. So Corintar is looking good. Hammerhome is looking pretty all right. Covenblad is a bit small. Venom Tooth I don't think is going to survive for very much longer. Elnor is looking alright. Severdeer doesn't look very strong. Cookdeer. Cookdeer is actually pretty decent because they've also got some of the stuff underground. Counts League. Wyvernheart's not looking good. 
Lord of the Iron Scepter, looking a little bit isolated. Rosand, Stolbor, Rotcleaver, Nusia, Arailnon. Yeah, unfortunately I think the Arboran and especially Karuvia, I think Karuvia is going to be in a good position to grab a bunch of land down here. And Marhold's done a really good job of um, consolidating territory, actually. Still some space left to uh, to move into. Meanwhile, Laurent fighting now against the small country. The small country is taking all the land that Laurent just took off of Gawed, which was pretty inevitable. I'm not actually seeing any... Oh no, there's Lawrence Army. Is that what you have? Probably. Lawrence right now being outnumbered by the small country. Really like Escana after the for overhaul of the migration mechanic. Now Escan looks more like clustered with tags almost every game. Yeah, that's good. I really, really, really wish that we could push out the patch which fixes the natives in vanilla. Because then America would look more like this. That's how it's supposed to work. But because of the fact that the natives are bugged. So what's supposed to happen is the natives are supposed to get a minus 100% reform growth penalty. Which means that they shouldn't be able to westernize. But that 100% is not being applied at the moment. Which means they are growing and westernizing way more quickly. And taking the land which should be going to the colonists. Like there should be this kind of shared territory going on. It's just not happening. Anyway, Ruby Hold is currently fighting against the small country and actually seems to be winning. Small country and their mercenaries are losing out against this blob of the dwarves, led by a mage, I think. Yes, so Lauren has a level 9 shock. And with that, they do send the small country packing. Small country did have another 20,000 troops there in the north they could have sent to go and assist, but at the moment, Ruby Hold, holding firm. And the small country have taken a bunch of manpower damage from that. But that's manpower damage they can absolutely uh, absorb. Because most of it was probably mercenary manpower. Oh, Arboran is actually moving into Adenica. Adenica trying to stay completely out of the fight. Letting Arboran take out Ambenland. But now the, the tables have been turned against them. And Arboran is now pushing into Adenica land. I wonder if they have an agreement which Arboran's just overruled, overwritten, ignored. Because while Ambenland was being occupied, there are a couple of forts down here which Adenica could probably have helped fight for. But as it stands right now, they just haven't. I wonder if this is just to get the war score so that they can peace out or if they're actually going to do something against Adenica here. Oh, they peaced out. So Arboran did take, I think, money. Yeah, unfortunately I can't see the log, so I can't see exactly what the outcome was. Was it money deal? It certainly looks like they took some cash there. And then diplomatic expenses, they are getting loot. Uh, wrong one. War reps. Here we go. Adenica indeed is paying war reparations to Arboran. Sorokli asking for three speed. But Sorokli, you're the one who keeps slowing it down. <laughs> I'm guessing that the host is about to say that. No, because he can't handle it. You can't handle the speed. You want the speed. You can't handle the speed. Ooh, small country going in while low on uh, morale. We do have that Salorian general coming in to bolster Rubyhold soldiers. 50,000 against 35,000. Rubyhold taking a ton of damage because Salorian's troops have been slow to arrive. But Salorian has just arrived. But I think the damage has already been done. Small country with their extra weight of troops has just beaten them back. And there we go. Small country is once again in control of the future prosperity of the nation. Meanwhile, Reveria, comeback of the century, having taken down the Oakand completely and reunified these territories 
in the face of the Gnomish Hierarchy's belligerents. Although they haven't actually fought yet. But that's definitely coming. <laughs> like one of the early wars that the, the Gnomes have to fight is against Riveria. And bear in mind that the Gnomes were allied to Yokand. They are not allied to Riveria. So that is a war that is coming and judging by the Gnomes standing here right now, I suspect that's going to be sooner rather than later.